Hi everybody. The purpose of this video is to help you with the Minecraft party glasses in Tinkercad. When you're all said and done with it, this is what it should look like. So the first thing you're going to have to do when you log into your Tinkercad account is to go to the learn area, which is right here on your right. And this is under lessons. So once you go to learn, you're going to choose lessons. And the party glasses should be the first option for you. All right, so once that loads, the first thing you're going to have to do is drag out a box onto your work plane. Let me just restart it. All right, so you're going to be dragging a box onto your work plane. And then you're going to have to change the size of the box, which is why I wanted to do this video, because that can be a little bit confusing. This is just like before with the Tinkercad starters. It has the directions on the left-hand side. Let me just get this out of our way. All right, so there's our box on the work plane. So I'm going to drag out the box. And then it's going to tell us what size we need to make it. All right, good. So we got that. I'm going to click next because the directions are going to be right there. So it says scale it smaller to a height of five millimeters tall and size it to six by six millimeters. So there's a few ways we could do this. When you click on the box, you might notice that these numbers appear. You see that 20. So you can either, if you figure out which one is the height, you can do that. I like to click on the box and if you, I close it out so you can see better, but if you click the triangle, it'll appear. Here it will tell you what the numbers are. So length, width, and height. That's what we're going to be looking at right now. So our directions say to make the height five milliliters. So right now, millimeters, sorry. It's a 20. So I can either do the scroll bar here, or I'm going to just click on the number and I'm going to type in a five. That's the easiest way. Once you do that, you might have noticed the box shrank a little bit. It's much flat, flatter than it was before. All right, so now we need to do the other two sides. Um, six by six, so our length and our width. So I'm going to change this 120 to six and my width to six. Are you noticing that the box is getting smaller? There it is. So now this should be the same size as this orange box. So let's just double check. It is. That's good. Now, number two, you can adjust the snap grid. So the snap grid is the bottom on the lower right corner which is right here, and is asking us to change it from one millimeter to 5.5. So I'm going to just adjust that. That's like just scaling it. And I'm going to click next. All right. So basically, the reason why I had you do those Tinkercad starters before was so that you could do projects like this, where you're going to have to copy and paste or duplicate things. So this first box that we made should be the same size as all these other orange squares. See that? So what you need to do is either copy and paste this first square or you can duplicate it, whichever you prefer. When you do this, please be careful when you're dragging it out because it might resize the box which might create an issue. So just be careful when you're dragging it over that it doesn't change the size. So I'm going to click on the box. You can either do copy up here, which is the top left, or you can do control C. I'm just going to do control C because I'm used to that. And I'm going to paste control V. It made a second uh, box over here. I'm going to try very carefully to pull it out and drag it over. 
Now you're gonna have to do that a few times. So you might wanna try to do the duplicate feature. This is the duplicate right to the left of the trash can. Um, or you could do control D. What that does is it pulls out. So now when I click on this shape, it should, oops, it should pull out the same size shape each time I click. Uh-oh. So you might need to keep clicking it a few times, but it is a little bit easier than um, copying and pasting. Now notice when I dragged it out, I just accidentally changed the size. I'm going to undo it. It happens. So then you would just keep going until you have all these orange boxes filled. And then the next step, I'm just going to go ahead. All right, so the next step, you're changing the size again. You should be okay with that. And then you can multiply it. Here we are. So you're going to have a lot of these to do. All right, when you're done, yours is going to look like what I showed you in the beginning of the video here. All right, I do want you to take a screenshot of this when you are done and put it in the assignment in Google Classroom. If you are confused on how to do that, I did post a how-to sheet in Classroom for you. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.